We're gamers. Just starting up uh, some Sekiro Night. Uh, we're going to try to take out the Shichi men, uh, if we can. Uh, let me just grab a drink, and we'll be good to go.
ceremonial tanto. Dagger with a stark white blade and hilt converts vitality into spirit emblems. Resting replenishes its charges. Originally, this tanto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift to the fountainhead waters. The blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. Holy crap. So wait, what was the... Was that where we came in, or... A little confused. Okay, who the fuck are you? Bottomless hole? Okay. I think this is the area that... Okay, gotcha. Well, he didn't drop uh, much XP, did he? So I think I kind of get how to do this, but this arena was much more... Uh, user friendly, I would say. I don't know if that's the term, but. Alright. Oh shit, really? Dude, I didn't I didn't take your melody, bro. Stop this. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. Oh, that wasn't right. That wasn't right that we killed that guy. He's mad that he couldn't hear the melody of the creepy demon chick that was, uh... Probably gonna steal his soul or something. Yeah, that guy's bad. He's bad news. You're- you're lucky you got here in time to stop him, Spaden. Nah, dude, he wanted to hook up with a ghostly chick that was playing, uh, an instrument, and... Sometimes you just gotta stop a brother from, uh... Doing something silly like that. Let's see what this lady says. Will you be cast out? Or throw yourself here? What? If you wish to go to the very depths of Ashina, then you best cast yourself out. Over there. The depths of Ashina are over there. Dude, you're creepy as hell, lady. I'm not jumping down there. I think I was born yesterday. I think I was born yesterday. You damn well bet I'm gonna Google search the hell out of this. The depths of Hashina are over there. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna listen to Smeagol over here. Fuck off. How's it going today, Spaden? Uh, well, I mean, that guy wasn't really good. He wasn't bad. Um, he, he was like one of the, one of the guards here at the castle. Like, he was cool with me. We talked on several occasions. And he was talking about how he heard this woman, um, playing an instrument. And he wanted to find her. Well, it turns out that woman is a ghost who was betrayed by a man. So she's a vengeful ghost. So she was luring more men for her to kill. And, and he thought that I quit playing her song because I killed her. I stopped her from playing the song, so he blamed me that I basically killed, you know, whoever he's attracted to this girl or whatever. Yeah, I brought all the boys to the yard, and then, you know, he was like, you killed my girlfriend. And I was like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. It was a, it was a wild ride, let's put it that way. 
So let's check Sekiro Chichi Men Warrior uh, that I just killed. And I got the ceremonial Tanto. And what's that area behind him? Um, I I already forgotten the name of this area. What's what no, what's the name of this area though? Uh Did you mean warrior? Hmm. Okay, hang on. I, I gotta look up and understand what I'm doing right now. Whoa, almost walked off. Um yeah, I just did a, a killer boss fight before you, before you jumped in. This was a good one. Put a marker there. We'll we'll definitely clip it. The bottomless hole. Okay, let me look up this area. Uh, of course, that's what it would be named. So what does that mean? So I don't see any details. Rias Bata Jun. Virgin's Bloody Letter. What does that mean, though? Bottomless hole, the Kiro. Yeah, what does she mean? Nobody's nobody's writing. So I'm checking online right now. And nobody's dude, nobody's writing anything about what this bottomless hole is, what it does, why would you wanna jump in it? Uh you know, like I don't understand. Nobody's saying anything. I'm just gonna jump. Let's see what happens. You only live once, right, Spaden? Okay, we just gotta jump. I mean, you trust this old lady that we just met, right? She seems cool. And, like, there's even a Tory gate here, so, I mean, it's it's gotta go to heaven or hell, you know? Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? Oh my god, it really is going somewhere. Dude, I, I can't... <laughs> I can't see shit. Where are we? I'm so scared. Where are we? I've never seen this. What are you? I'm gonna go up and backstab him. 
Okay, that was a little overkill. But I was I was worried he was. Oh, okay. There's a big hole there. All right, what's this? It's full of ash. Okay. I. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, so I could have turned there. Okay, so what's... Oh my god. What? No way. Is this actually no depths? Have we been here before? Wait, why is it saying it's found again? No, we've been here. Don't fuck off. We've been here. Yeah. Try to bullshit me? No, there's gotta be something else here. No, no, it's, z it's zero times. You live zero. <laughs> you live and then you die. Okay? Those are your choices. <laughs> what if I just straight up fall? What if I don't use the grapple? Okay. For science. For science. Everyone does this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you die. Well, it looks like there's a second ledge. So watch. If we miss the first one. Then we catch this one. That's lower. Unless this just grapples you. I don't know. Maybe it just... Oh, hang on. This looks different. Unless... <laughs> Unless that's just a... This is scary. I don't like this. This guy lives twice though. Watch, watch, watch. He's dead now. Yeah, this is the same spot. And then we take this hatch that drops you right here. You can't call me. My God. Grave. Holy shit. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Why are you hiding, bro? <laughs> Listen, I'm sitting in the dark. The dark caves. Dark caves. Dark. Dark future. Dark past. Yeah, why, why are you guys watching me? Why aren't you guys watching the, the RNC convention? <laughs> That's where the real magic is, right? This is where the... Uh... If you don't vote for me, you'll get a socialist utopia. <laughs> Wait. Wait, did he say utopia? That doesn't sound bad. <laughs> well, it said utopia. Oh, wait. I don't want to go in. I should go in from the other side because I get a checkpoint that's a little more forgiving. Put it that way. I've, I've got a... <laughs> um... <laughs> everybody's scared, yeah. What's that? That doesn't exist. You, oh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I watched it. I was... I was living in the, the fear world. Fear, fear. Land of fear is what they were, uh... Pitching. That was a sales pitch. That's where I want to be. I think I can get there from here. I don't know, it's just really 
pretty hot in here. How you doing, Uriah? What's what's new? What are you excited for? Oh, tell me your story. I saw you talking about something called voice meter banana. And I was like, man, if only he had made some videos to really inform people about what voice meter banana is and why they should have it. And remember when these... You guys don't remember, though. Do you? Remember when these guys were scary? When I used to be like, Oh, no! Nobody's... None of these regular enemies are scary anymore. Now, this guy... This guy's scary. We're about to see. This guy's scary. We killed the apes down here. They were easy. But this guy... This guy down here, he, he plays Destiny like 23 hours a day. That extra hour is when he just goes back and plays Destiny 1. Why would I create videos to show people stuff? <laughs> why would you help others? I don't know, dude. I don't know why you do it. I'm, I'm trying to get in your mind. Okay, I'm, I'm going... I think I understand this man now, so I... I think because I understand him. Oh wait, no. This is all that's terror. Okay, yeah, you have to wait for the Fuck. Oh, oh. Fuck him. He's gonna do the beam. Ooh. Get fucked. Yeah, I told you. I told you I had a hit list, and you guys, you all doubted me, didn't you? He's going to spirit bomb me three times. Okay, maybe just two. Mm. See, dude, I'm I'm a force to be reckoned with. gonna fuck your shit up I am going oh I can't wait I can't wait to hurt you I can't wait dude please <sighs> try me you fat fuck you he's got like a head on the side I don't know I want to know what love is I want you to show me I want to know what love is that's not love that's a big purple ball Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
dude, get fucked. Malcontent's ring. An old ring well suited for slender fingers. That's a weird thing to, to bring up. Kingfisher is engraved on the underside. Can be used to upgrade the finger whistle prosthetic tool that you haven't even used one time. Wearing this ring as you blow the finger whistle will create a somber tune. The weeping voice is full of solitude and beauty. Possibly somber enough to temporarily quell a voice of rage. I don't know what that means. And even if I did. Okay, so we got... Alright, so this area is clean again. Alright, where's the... Um... Okay, the last Shichi man, and I think he's got he's got the most difficult arena. I'll say that. He's here at Fountainhead Palace. I don't know how to do this. This one Palace Grounds might be the best. Yeah, that might be the best starting zone. I don't know how to get this guy. I'm I'm hoping I've learned something. From the two Shichi men I've taken out already. Um, that's the worst idea ever. Who would scale themselves via content to help the web? That's absurd. That is as absurd why you would help people. I don't know if people are grasping your level of sarcasm. It's, it's really coming in hot right now. Hot, almost as hot as your hottest takes. What? Oh, I pressed right trigger like a... Freaking idiot. Nah, I gotta go back up there. Hang on. Actually, this isn't bad. Come down. Come here. Come here, you stupid. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, Uriah is coming in with the host. Okay, he's, he's ready for the hot stuff. He's ready for the hot stuff. Thank you for the host. I hope you're doing well, friend. And been a little while since we chatted. I'm still I'm still thinking of you. I still say a little prayer for Uriah. And you you should too. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? Some people... Alright, I watched some people. Work got you crazy? Alright, I got you. No, no, no! Mm, 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 mm. Oh, he's running away. And you know where he runs? Watch. Right fucking there. Okay. See, I don't know how to beat this guy. Oh my god, he's sending the dogs now. Watch this. Can the spirit bomb track me? He can do the laser beam. If he does the laser beam, it'll go through the... Yeah. You see it? You see that shit? This is so dumb. This guy is such a fucking cheater. He is such a fucking cheater, dude.
And then he summons three spirit bombs. Fucking... Okay, so once the shield's smoking, that basically means that I can I can shoot it back at him. And then check this out. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna rush in there. Mm, 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 mm. Oh he did a Oh that's cute. And he's going back up here. I wanna know what love is. Wait for it. Whoa! You didn't think he was gonna do it, but he's always gonna do it, dude. Ah, you fucking little bitch. And now I'm gonna run out of divine confetti. Dude, someone told me, someone said online, oh wow. Come on, give me, give me something tasty here. Yeah, give me like... Nah, I need more than this. Yeah, give me a big... Oh, just nasty. Oh, I shouldn't have. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Really? Oh, dude, come on. I just did it. I just... Oh, I got him now. Dude, I got him. I got him, Izzy. Izzy Maybell coming in. Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> Izzy, we did it. We got him. We got him. Don't worry. Don't worry. I hope you're doing well, Izzy. Welcome to the stream. Lapis Lazuli. Precious Azure Lazulite. The, the bluest of the blue. All right. Um, used for the highest level of prosthetic tool upgrade. It's... Uh, Fountainhead Lazulite is a symbol of eternity. Anything forged with it will never break nor rust, thanks to the blessing of the divine divine dragon. I can't even say words. Tools forged with Lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as treasures of the divine dragon. Look, I've, I've fought some of the bosses that people quit playing the game, Okay. Uh, the the guardian ape and Genichiro of Ashina people people quit the game there's like less than 40% of the population of the game have defeated Genichiro and he's he's not even really the halfway point as I understand Akira is one of those games that makes me want to cry by just but why would you cry when you have a beautiful purple flaming sword I mean, you can't cry when you're just that happy. Or when there's dogs here uh, that shoot lightning at you. I mean, I, I wouldn't cry if a dog shot lightning at me. I'd, I'd actually be very impressed. Let me see if he'll do it. Okay, well, not him. Because I'm going to kill him. Oh, here it is. There, and I just shot it back at him. Watch. Oh, I didn't do it right. Hang on. I wasn't ready. Yeah, let's do it in the water. Because that's that's safe. Yeah, there it is. Oh, dude. Well, you missed. Dude, that's your fault, not mine. Aw, oh, man. You missed. Why do you keep missing? 
He's a god! Really? Come on, dude. Try it again. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh no, I killed him! Oh, I feel bad. Well, not like really bad, but you know, just like a little bad. Well, holy shit, we, we, we killed all three of the she, 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 she men? I think I said that right. The, uh, goodness gracious. Okay, I have a question about Sekiro, and I have to look it up, I guess. Um, my experts are, are around right now. Um... What is the, uh, I gotta think about how to write my question online. Been awake five minutes and you're already killing dogs. Listen, I wasn't joking when, like, literally every, every game is like, let's kill dogs, the game. Especially with Sony, I don't know what their deal is with, with killing dogs. Like, every first party Sony exclusive I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel's Avengers had us killing dogs at some point, or, or uh, Spider-Man, or whatever. Any of those. Wouldn't be surprised. Pretty much make us do it in every single game. Well, they make the games that make me kill the dogs. They're like, you have to kill the dog to stay alive, or, oh, you have to kill the dog to pass uh, to the next area. Not my fault. Not my fault. I love dogs. I have a dog. I got, I got Presley. He's the best. Presley is the best. Um, so when you defeat Owl... Hmm. Oh, I think I might have missed on something here. Uh, Spaden. It's, uh, yeah, let me show you guys. Uh, you want to see this link right here? I don't know if that link works. Let me click it. Yeah, that seems to work. Well, it doesn't work, actually. Yeah, the parentheses uh, around the word father are, are throwing it off. Because I, I killed him, but then I'm supposed to go into a memory. Use drops on, on Kuro, and then go with Emma's plan. Sever immortality without Kuro dying. Eavesdrop on Emma when she talks to the sculptor. I think we missed all this. I think we missed all that. She will give the father's bell charm. I don't know. I'm not about to replay this game, though. Yeah, there's... Okay, there's these dogs over here. Because we're in, like, a spiritual realm here. And, uh, yeah, this place is absolutely beautiful. And, uh, there's... Well, I think I killed the ones over here. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Okay, here's some. Yeah, these dogs here, they, they shoot lightning. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to kill them both. I just wanted to get one out of the way so I could... Okay, well... No more 5 a.m. doggy killing. Well, that's good, because it's only 11.30 where I am, so I'm not, I'm not killing dogs uh, that early. Yeah, that was a double doggy kill. Two for the price of one. Yeah, and then there's like these ladies with really long necks over here. I don't know what's going on with that. But they're they're a fun challenge. And they shoot lightning too, in case in case you were sad that the dogs were the only ones shooting lightning. No, don't worry, women can do it too, but you just gotta have a really long neck. 
I don't know what that has to do with shooting lightning, but you do have to have a long neck. Holy shit. There it is. You're next, girl. Yeah, see those long necks? Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, come here. Alright, this is... This is ridiculous. Yeah, these girls do everything. They got swords, they got bows, they play soccer. See that neck? It's, it's all neck right there. Kebs! Oh my god. I can't even heal every, every time I have a drink. You're, you're killing my buzz. Dude, that one shot me. Oh, I am gonna kill you so much. I love it. You play Fall Guys and it's all better now. That sounds accurate. Really? Alright, fine. We'll play, we'll play it your way. No, keep attacking. See what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, I missed. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. You're not so tough. There's your knees doing here. Yeah, I'm leaving. It's not cowardice, it's strategy. Oh my gosh, how is the kitty cat? Did you did you settle on a name? I think you were you were having several names and, and you were deciding uh length and stuff like that. Like, how many names to give it you were gonna... We're gonna give him a lot of stuff. Not yet? Oh, okay, we're... We're reading the personality. What's your niece doing here? She's my brother's little girl, Snake. Meryl. Uh. And these guys here, they can turn you into an old man if they play your flute, their flute. Not my flute, their flute. They have to play their flute. <laughs> Be weird if they were playing my flute. Because I don't, I don't think I have a flute. All right. And I, I tried to do the movie night, but here's what was weird. So I, I tried to do it through my Xbox Blu-ray player, and then I got an HDCP thing. It was like, oh, you can't do this. So I went to my PS3, but then my computer, uh, the Elgato Capture, was capturing it, and Discord was picking it up flipped. So the image was flipped. So, like, any text that would be on screen would be backwards. Essentially... If we were doing a movie night tonight, you would be watching it backwards. It would be flipped on the reverse. So it was it was bad. Um, so I, I'm going to figure something out so that we can make movie night happen. But I think it's going to revolve around not using Blu-rays at the moment. The only workaround I found was sharing my OBS to you guys. But I would need a third monitor. 
<sighs> to send that stream through and it's it's not gonna be fun for anybody so let me try something yeah make the right choice all right let me when does this happen okay let me type how to get father's bell john Yeah, make the right choice. Why do I have so many hyperscape emotes? <laughs> I think it's been related to if you're in a stream when someone's gifting subs, uh, you, you'll get a hyperscape emote. It's like pi part of a promotion that they're doing. You need that outbreak catalyst? Well, man, we, we got to get good at, um, at that mission. <laughs> we we got to get to where we can just run through it like it's nothing. Need. Oh, he did a capital N and, and he did a, a period at the end. That's serious. He, he paused after he said need. He said need. And that was, that was a full thought. End, end of sentence. Period. The end, as people like to say. As Faden's learning all about grammar tonight. It's going away. Oh, shoot, is it? No, that can't be right. Are you sure? Wait, is that, did they release, like, some patch notes or something? No way. No, it's not. It's on Earth! How could it go away if it's on Earth? Do they just want to stop people from getting catalysts? Because I know the Telesto catalyst is on Leviathan. DCV, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't understand your acro acronyms. You you kids, you you kids are using so many, you know, you got your LOL and you got your, you know, LFMAOs and I don't know, IDK and I, I don't know. I thought some of them were gang affiliations or something. You kids, you kids in your Nintendo boxes, Destiny Content Vault, shit. And how long do we we have until November, right? Because that's that's the deadline. W A P. Um, warm apples. Warm apple pie. Women against prison. Um. Watery. <laughs> Will always play. Oh, is that what you say? Is that? Is that your thing when you're when you're leaving me behind and and doing the dungeons yourself with with your LFG buddies? You say, "I will always play with you, Aaron, except when I need to get a dungeon done." <laughs> I don't even know what any of that means. I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, 
how do I let's go here I don't know I don't, I don't know what you guys you you kids whoa what's up gamers how's it going oh my gosh my image is is spinning 50 Katie coming in with the, with the raid look at these look at these gamers we get a little shout out for for Nifty Katie. Nifty Katie playing the Dead by Daylight. Yeah, there we go. I uh, got to head out, but I wanted to say hi. I know I understand, Katie. I got you. Well, hopefully uh, your stream was all good. Uh, I, I caught a little bit of it here and there. But I had, I had so many things going on all day. I wanted to stream all day, and I was like... One thing after another. So we got a few hours in today. Wanted to progress. Fate is fast. Yeah, we had a great time uh, watching uh, Katie and Video Vomit and... Uh, a couple other people were playing some Mario Party 3 together a couple nights ago. Oh, that was great. It was great. Okay, how do I eavesdrop on these, uh, these silly little gooses? You know, they're back at the castle. What if I, what if I go through, through the wall here? They're saying I need to eavesdrop on her a lot. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I've done it once. I don't know if there's more opportunities to do it later. I'm so paranoid. I never opened this window because I thought I thought the shinobi would come in here and kidnap Kuro. And I thought I could stop that by just leaving the window shut. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but that's how my mind works. I hope he's all right. Huh? Oh, Wolf, are you unhurt? My lord. Ah, this is for you. Sweet rice ball. Ooh, that looks gross. What is that? A sweet, sticky rice ball made by Kuro slowly grants medium vitality recovery and constant posture recovery over time. Will senses it was crafted with feelings of resolve and reluctance to part ways. Such deep emotions tend to be mumbled to oneself rather than shared. I will obtain them and return. Yes, I'm counting on you, Wolf. It appears the Interior Ministry's army is beginning to stir. But there's no need to worry, Wolf. Lord Ishin comes to check on me now and then. His visits give heart. His visits give heart. I'm glad you. Yeah, she keeps saying that. Yeah, you can't upgrade it more. Look, your brow is less. Please. Please. Yeah, it was a good time. They were all uh, unfriending each other and whatnot. Uh, pretty much what happens. Wonder if I should open these windows and maybe that's how I eavesdrop on them. Is I, I come in when they're not, uh... Because if I come in a way that they're gonna see me, then it's like... Well, duh, of course they're gonna see me. Is that Ishin's building down there? I don't think so. That's it. Well, if they get kidnapped now, it's like, meh, I don't really care. I'm... I'm I'm so almighty, I could probably, probably get them back.
Maybe they'll talk shit about me. Let's see. Nope. I'm being sneaky. We're almost there. Yes. Do what must be done. Do what must be done. Okay. I've got a plan. Check this. <laughs> Nifty Katie. Whoa, what if I hug this wall? No, you guys would be dumb. Okay, let me try. Try something. Uriah's coming in with the lightning. Did you guys see all the DC announcements lately? Uh, we got Gotham Knights coming out. We got, uh... Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Yeah, we've got some uh, some pretty interesting little uh, little video games. You didn't see the games. You're, yeah. Uriah. You saw Gal? Yeah, I like Gal. She's good. And, uh, did you see Justice League? You see Jack, Zack Snyder's... Wait, what? Oh, they're in... He's so strong. He's so strong. I wish I was. Dude, where the... Where did she go? My lord. You've done well, Trooper. You reached the Fountainhead Palace. I did. Good. I was worried. Dragon tears. I will obtain them and return. Yes. I'm counting on you, Wolf. You know where I think she went? I think she went this way. She went to go talk to the sculptor. I, th I think I'm piecing things together right now. They, they have some sort of plan. Is she in there with him? Where is she, dude? Oh, you know where she is. Sometimes she goes to talk to Lord Ishin. That's that's where she is. Yeah, you know what? The first Wonder Woman was amazing, but part two is is looking just as good. I'm excited. As as we all should be, honestly. You know what? I bet she went to talk to Ishin.
yeah, I think this is his place right here. There's a chest right there. A crimson mortal bread. That means the one that he has must be black then. To abandon oneself and take a friend. A friend. Where the f did she go? Dude, she's not here. Dude, where is she? Unless she's going like full traitor on us right now. She like snuck off to tell the bad guys what we're doing. Wait, that's her right there. Okay, just need to go over here. Is she over here? <laughs> it won't let me take cover anywhere. I'm so confused. Do I have to get like a line of sight on her? I don't know. Probably see. Got an idea. I, think I can go up the stairs and maybe. I must do what must be done. Mm -hmm. That is what the divine heir said. You must be hiding something. I see. Oh. What is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoir. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality along with the life of the divine heir what if you walk the path of immortal severance then you must use the mortal blade to end my lord's life yes lord kuro desires immortal severance i understand that i do and yet master wolf might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life. The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf, I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. Oh. oh, yes, Lady Tomoy's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also, we may want to keep this from the Divine Heir. Yes. Master Wolf, I'm all look into it. Thank you. Also, keep this. Yes. Goodbye, Master Wolf. Okay, so what if what if I go down here and I advance time, more or less? Master Wolf, I found here. Tomoe's note. Note written in Tomoe's soft handwriting. Lord Takeru's coughs are worsening still. Returning to the Divine Realm is hopeless, and I wish only to sever the dragon's heritage and restore his humanity. Restoration requires the Ever Blossom and Mortal Blade, and yet I cannot acquire the latter. It was hidden by the High Priest of Senpu Temple, who has no desire to sever, sever the immortal tie. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Ever Blossom, as I told you once before. The Ever Blossom is a Sakura tree. 
that Lord Kakeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Ever Blossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Ever Blossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. But the branch that was stolen did have flowers on it. So if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Ever Blossom tree? It was in my father's possession. Master Owl. But there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Ever Blossom still flourished, but try as I might, the memory is hazy. They're graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's grave. That's where the Ever Blossom once grew. Something might come back to me. Oh my gosh! The purification, all this it made. By the power of the now that you mention it, that part wasn't very clear. I'll see what I can find. I talked to her again. Found to be the divine. My wish is that he could be freed of this burden and pursue a normal life. That is all I pray for. Goodbye, Master Wolf. Okay. I know where she's talking about. Um. Now get her number. Yeah, dude, Emma Emma's fine. She is a lady of, of healing. She's got that healing touch. See the graves are that way. This way. Yep. Yep. All right. The and that's where the tree was. But Owl took the branch, and I killed Owl. your number that's right i'm sorry i wasn't able to remember anything significant perhaps one of my old friends can help i'll meet with orangutan at his temple orangutan yes it's the sculptor's old nickname wait they call him orangutan like like a monkey back then lord takeru would play the flute and Lady Tomoe would dance under the Ever Blossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my old friends has some memories of those days. I'll speak with Orangutan at his temple. I don't think it's very nice that you're calling him an Orangutan. Look at Emma, though. Oof. Smoking. She's smart too. She knows she knows so much about medicine and healing. So we go back to the temple here. That's where this guy is.
you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. Goodbye, Master Wolf. Wow, that sucks. Let me talk to him. Sculptor. What? Need something? Idols are all I can carve. The only Buddhas the wood shows me have faces of wrath. And I can only carve what I see. That's weird. Say, what? Did you know this temple is horribly drafty? Sure it is. Ah, oh, you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. Goodbye, Master. Achieve their goal of immortal suffering. Either he or Lord Kura must die. Why, Sora? You own this blood. So will you keep that from me? As a ring to him, if I give this to him, he's sure to die. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself. So that Kuro can live. Ah, oh, you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, I'm afraid. Ask about what you overheard. Oh, must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? I'm always listening. Uh, I saw it that day beneath the branches of the ever blossom tree. Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said those made immortal by the oaths of the dragon's heritage shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, the oath bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro or you. But all paths are leading to dead ends. What are you hiding? Uh, so you overheard. Tell me. Uh, Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. Father's Bell Charm. Previously owned by the Owl. The Owl held this bell for a long time, offering it at the dilapidated temple may result in seeing a different memory than before. There's no way of knowing why this protective bell exists. Perhaps the owl kept it for himself, or perhaps he meant to give it to someone. Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see. But the bell belonged to Master Owl, so please, take care. Goodbye, Master Wolf. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be a different memory. Okay, this is where we saw Owl, I think. You're not Owl. Oh, you're supposed to be dead. Yet, you still live.
dude. What the fuck? What the fuck is this fight right now? Yeah, here goes everything. Does he just summon infinite freaking dogs? All right, we got to think about something. What can we do? To... Shit, he already killed me. Wow, dude. I don't stand a chance against this guy.
Not that. I didn't mean to put away the... God, these menus are so finicky. Three fucking pellets. Dude, get fucked. I know I cheated the hell out of that shit, but fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah, I'll take that prayer bead. Oh yeah, hope you like the tea. I have no, nope, no honor. We're Shinobi, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's good stuff. Cheater. You and your infinite dogs. Wait, what's happening? Why is it playing? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Fulminated mercury. Highly precious grains forming the base for a devastating form of gunpowder. Um, used in explosive prosthetic tool upgrades of advanced rank. Created in secret by the interior ministry using knowledge from across southern seas Central Force's military might owes much to this tiny tweak of chemistry. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Is there a save point somewhere? now Yeah, dude, this is this is some garbage stuff right now, Stormzy. I don't know who the hell this guy is. 
Big fat boy. Wow, really? Still missed? shouldn't have wasted all that. No, he knows. That's why he keeps seeing me, because there's an archer hiding back over the other way. Dude, get fucked. Big ugly fat fuck. Fuck you too. Ah, uh, okay. So, we're, we're getting where we needed to be. Yeah, right in the jugular. Um, no, we don't need that. We need physical attributes. Whose prayer be is sung together an offering to the sculptor's idol. Increases max vitality and posture. Befits the strong. Robert's father came from far across seas to the south in search of the undying, repelling a thousand blades was a small price for the blessing of rejuvenation. Max vitality and posture have increased. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rest, make sure that we're good on that. So what this is, Stormzy, is a memory. And I guess this is the true memory now. Because earlier it was like... It was a memory of this area, but it was it was different. Oh, dude, this sucks, dude. Oh, my God. How many of those? Dude, that's three! Oh, fuck.
got him. Oh, I just wanted to get these easy dudes out of the way so I could forward. Yeah, as long as I don't get more than one at a time, I think we can do this. But yeah, fucking three of those dudes back to back? I don't think so. Wow, what a fucking ripoff. Look at that. Blinded by the light. Yeah, he has a move where he just gets all his posture back. Yeah, these guys, these guys are worthy. Yeah, this move here, Ichimanji, it gives me back a little bit of my posture. So that's the orange bar at the bottom of the screen. So we're fighting to break each other's posture. That's, that's the main goal here. So watch this. So my, my bar is at the bottom. Which, if he breaks that posture, I, like, fall down and lose my balance. If I break his posture, I get a chance for an insta-kill. Which, his orange bar is right below his health bar. So the more damage to his health, the easier it is to break his posture, obviously. But, eventually, you can only block so much before... But yeah, he just, he regained it all right there. Almost had him. <laughs> nope, he just kicked my face off. That's great. Fucking asshole. Oh, Sam, what's up, dude? Sorry, it's a little crazy right now. One second. I'll take. I don't know why they get a free hit in right there. There it is. Well, now, whatever's next, I'm not gonna be able to fight that because I'm gonna be. I used up all my uh, stuff right here. How's it going, Sim? What's new? What's new? Uh, you can stab him like you did the other guy. That's when you broke his posture. Yeah, that's why this game isn't just about, you know, rolling around like Dark Souls. Because you got to get in there and break his posture. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. I mean, you can do it the Dark Souls way. You can roll around and slowly... Look for openings and chip away at their health. But, I mean, it's going to take you, like, three hours to do it that way. So, that's your call. <laughs> it's not as fun. It's not as fun to play this game the Dark Souls way and, and do it slow like that. You get, you get more, uh, you know, you get a more glorious feeling out of yourself when you fight these things head on. Oh, so we got a fat, we got to fight the fat drunkard dude again. Oh, that's going to be fun.
Yeah, man, it's it's uh, it's complex, and I think that's part of what lured me into wanting this game as well. I can take these guys. Look at this shit. Fucking nobody is kicking my ass right now. Oh, I love it. Yeah, steal their sake. <laughs> yeah, so this game is all about that posture bar about managing your posture so this guy see juzo the drunkard oh fuck he's got his own he's got his own shinobi oh a poison dude oh that's great oh that's that's fantastic oh and this guy shoots poison arrows oh that's cool oh that's fucking wonderful wow okay so basically, they're telling me, equip this, equip, uh, equip, equip, what is it? Yeah, no. This one. No, no, no! Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Wait, what? No, no, no! Oh my gosh. Is it just me and this guy? Okay. Fucking bullshit. Wow. Nope. God damn it. <sighs> fucking asshole. Fucking nobody. He's a nobody. I've beaten guys like him hundreds of times by now. But just because he's got poison, he thinks he's cute. And hopefully these guys don't chase me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I can lose them. Maybe this is a, a cheat here. <laughs> you had some, some funny bugs? Oh my gosh. Like clipping through walls and falling infinitely or something. Walking through people. I don't know if I ever finished Infamous 2. A breakdancing washing machine. I think maybe. Just maybe, with everything I have, I can beat this guy. 
But it's probably going to take me several tries because I, I was never good at be, de, uh, defeating the drunkard here. This was never an easy fight. Was he going to do the thing? Oop. Yeah, he just called his buddies. Yeah, let me just wait for him. This is insane. So yeah, you see those enemies that have the red dots above their health bar? That means they have to be killed multiple times. Like, I have to deal what is like a death blow multiple times. So these guys, it's just once. Once I see that red circle, I can get like an insta-kill. So see, breaking his posture, very easy. That red circle means next attack is a, a stabbing death blow. Just like a stealth kill is a, that's an instant death blow. Or if I get in real quick like that, that's an instant death blow. All right, so we look at these guys. I've got some ideas. Oh, the fat guy is looking at me. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Dude, fuck off! God, let me move and figure something out. Shit. I'm getting my life together here. I don't know. I don't want to see if he'll chase me all the way back here. Listen, I'm, I'm only going to beat these guys by doing a bunch of bullshit. Alright, that's the only way we win. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, that took a lot of damage there. Oh, he's right there. Check that. Give me a stealth death blow on this guy. No! Dude, he knew. He was feigning, dude. He was feigning. Oh, this game is full of shit. Oh, and now he's throwing fucking ninja stars and shit. Oh, fuck this guy, dude. I'm over here. Kill me, come on! Do it! I'm over here! Oh, man. Come on, dude. What, you scared? You little sc you scared, you little baby? Oh my god, oh my god, he's so fast. Oh, he's, oh, he's super pissed. Nope. Wow, dude. Oh, he's already killed me. Easy. Fucking asshole. Nope. He, he heard me revive, if that's... Ooh, here comes the... Wait, can they come over here? I don't think they can. This might be uh, out of bounds. Let me see. 
I'm not even worried about the drunkard. For some reason, I'm I'm worried about this guy. Yeah, he's a big boy, dude. And he spits poison. And he has like these big, long, slow attacks that I... I just... I think they're super hard to predict. Let me see if he'll come back this way. Look, it's like it's a... Let me see. Let me see if he'll come back here. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I, th I thought <laughs> I thought his code was. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's glorious. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, that dude. That dude was like, I will sneak up and I will kill you. Oh, dude, he's coming. Dude, he's coming. Oh, he's spitting poison through the walls. Oh my god, what an asshole. Alright. Look, this is my saving grace right here. There's one archer and him. Those are the only ones alive right now. So I've gone out of bounds. He's forgotten me. So if I get a surprise death blow on him, and then I fight him and then kill him, that's two death blows. We're good. But the problem is I got to make it happen. Oh, and that archer is right there. So that's our that's our other issue. So I need to get to this archer. And I might have to lose him again. Oh, look at how clever that shit is. So they did this so I can't get to the archer. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe. Maybe. Please don't. Yes. Oh my god. That's glorious. Alright. We might. We might have a chance here. We might have a chance. Just give me the chance. That's all I ask. It's not crazy. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. What's, what's the strat for this guy? Because it's been a while. Let me look it up. Um, the Drunkard, Sekiro. Let's just see what they say. Because I, I want to say that I used fire on him or something. I did something crazy. Rada revisited. Um... Uh, in the end of the game, whatever. Right. Um. Okay, so setting him on fire is still a viable strat. Let me see. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, so let me read about the actual...
Yeah, they say flame vent. Mm. Boy, they don't really give you much of a description here. Yeah. He coats his blade with poison, dash towards him and use counterattacks to chip away at his health. Chasing slice is good. Loaded Shuriken. Nightjar Slash. Dodging and deflecting. Slower, more telegraphed attacks. Okay. I'm wondering if I should put away Ichimonji. Do I have Nightjar Slash? I don't even know. Oh, I, I have that. Let me see. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Ooh, look at his hairy back. I mean, gross. See, I'm using a, a sprint attack to swoop in. Yeah, and that was, that was dumb. All right, now he's going to poison the arena. But you notice his posture is, is very slow to come back. Very slow to come back, so I can use that to my advantage. Now I need to get close enough to trigger his... Oh, he's doing it on the blade. Okay, that's fine. But like all buffs, even buffs for me, uh, the poison blade it only lasts so long for him. Yeah, and he has a grab attack, which is pretty devastating. I think I can do this, though. That was super greedy, dude. That was super greedy. Woo. Okay. Nah, he saw that coming. He blocked that. Is he gonna coat his blade? Yeah, probably. Get out. Get out. You did good. You did good. You did good. No reason to be crazy. We do a fireworks. Got him. 
Does that count as, as a first try? I think so. This is my first time I got to him. Easy. So last time we had this guy's help, but I guess in this memory he was already dead. But in the other memory, he was like an AI co-op partner. And believe me, I needed his help. Because <laughs> this fight early on was like... Ugh. Fight of that. Oh, fuck that, dude. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. Nah. Really? Dude, fuck you. Fucking asshole. You and your tiny little dick. <sighs> fuck this dude, man. This guy's harder than the boss, to be fair. Still barely enough to get him. Took everything I had to bring him down. Scope out what we have here. And sugar. Mercury, that's good. This bitch. Oh, I want to break everything in my house right now. This guy's a fucking nobody. Oh, he's, he's fucking nothing. And he's, these guys, for me, the, the spear guys are the hardest guys. I'll never be able to time the blocks. And I've made it through the entire game fucking up constantly. So that's, this is my go-to. I'm, I'm known for fucking up against the spear guys. That's, that's the jam right here. Yeah, I'll just run away from him. Secret area. Fucking spears. The best thing I can hope for right now is that maybe this guy turns his back. I don't think he will. Oh, he might. Dude, get fucked. Go fuck yourself. Asshole. I 
I'll skip them. Yeah! That little bitch. Oh, look at this. I can stab him anytime I want. Oh, that's glorious. Somebody gonna show up here? No? Okay, that's good. Alright, so last time we came down here, we fought against uh, Lady Butterfly. Oh, it's Owl. Oh, it's Owl this time, because he's got the branch that we need. It's our father. Well, father figure. Put it that way. Can we backstab him? Backstab him. So what's up, Pops? Hello? What, do I have to be like a... Oh, okay. It'll be a perfect distance. Day, I pulled you from the battlefield. A starving cub. <laughs> that no one you become. Father, it breaks my heart. But I'm putting you down. Oh, he's fast. Dude, he's like... What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> dude, he's... Nah, this guy's gonna fuck my shit up. Dude, the first time he was easy. Wow, so the fireworks hurt me. I'm just kind of trying to blind fight right here. Oh, fuck. Well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> if you just run away, what does that do? Holy shit. See how posture is a big deal, but because I haven't damaged him much, it doesn't it doesn't really affect him all that much. But yeah, he's got fast regen. Nah, I went in there like an idiot. So here's the other fun tip about posture. Um, if your health is, if my health is low, then I can't recover it either. So neither of us can recover quickly if, if we're low on health. And because enemies excel at getting you low at he on health, it, it makes this suck. And as you can see, just running away, my, my posture is very slow. But if I stand far away and block for a little bit, I can get my posture back. But as you can see, it doesn't fucking matter. Because he, he can close the gap. Yeah, this, this fight's gonna suck. Yeah, I'm dead. There was no way. Okay. So I, kn I know some blocking. I know his moveset. No, this is, this is part of the game. This is, there's a lot of like hidden stuff, I guess, in this game. And secret endings and whatnot. Old woman of great faith. 
don't know who that is. Drunk mob. This is my first playthrough. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of near the end. Because, uh, this memory is different now. I just want to go down there and try stuff. I'm, I'm going to try not to waste all my spirit emblems because I have 966. I'm probably going to have to watch some videos on this fight. I just want to see. Let's just see now. See, look at that. He fucked up my posture and he's he's fully back with his. Odd as that is, that kind of worked. Hmm. So it feels like if you're too far away, he does he does the close the gap moves. And if you're too close, he does the firework move, and then he fucks you that way. <laughs> yeah, and that's like his finisher little combo. Oh, and then he does it to leap away, just like I do. Okay, that seems punishable if you're just the right distance away. And so does that. Oh, and then if you can be lucky enough to interrupt any of his... Really? <laughs> That's the most I've damaged him. Not even a quarter of his health. See? And then, if you make an error... Well, you might as well kill yourself if you make even one error. Oh, what's up, Stormzy? We're fighting, uh, father right now. This guy's kind of, uh... The surrogate dad here. You get, okay, you get a few slashes in there. You can. Oh, no, I didn't see that coming. I don't know why. Oh, well, punch the fuck out of my jump. I'm not gonna use any things that use up spirit emblems. I'm just, we're just sword fighting. Nah, there's nothing I could have done about that or that. Cause I still, I still don't know what to do. Woo! Made it pretty far though. See, actually, like, landing hits is different than, uh, than just clanging swords, because that's mostly what I've done. Yeah, I'm mostly just clanging swords with this guy. Every time I've swung, he, he's always met me. Except for a very few times where there's a brief window. So combine that with...
pairing and perfect pairing at the right times. This is going to be a rough fight. Hmm, is there anywhere else I need to go? Oh, that's right. Um, let's see, it's been a while since we've been here. Oh, I forgot to look. I needed to look at Harada Estate. Does it change now? Like when I travel there... Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. It knows. Yeah, it knows. It knows that this is the new... The new version of it. Okay. Because I still need a, um... What do you call it? A, uh... Carp. Which I'm not spawning him. Man, I thought because it had been a while that it might spawn some more. Fuck. Man, this sucks. So we got to fight him. So what happens? This is this is how you do underwater combat. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You just keep attacking. Oh, that's so funny. Wow, that sucks, though. It's not spawning the fish. One out of four prayer beads. Hidden dungeon. Look at this. There's only two things. I feel like there's got to be more, right? Look, every other area in the game, well, except for important places, all these other areas have like five or ten different sub areas to visit. Like, come on, man. Two? And you know with the name like Abandoned Dungeon, which happens to be under the castle, place like that's got to be, you know, deep. Gotta be lots of hidden stuff. Probably there's a, a secret lab like in Resident Evil. Uh, probably below everything. The typical Resident Evil thing. And uh, happens to be every Resident Evil seems to have a secret lab underground in, in every game. And that's how you know you're near the end of a Resident Evil game. You just look for the secret lab. Yeah, I'm calling him out. I'm calling him out for for literally coming up with the same ending for every game that they've ever made. Calling him out a little bit. Not that I don't like it. There's a bottomless hole, but if I jump down it, I die. Which, you know... Seems accurate. Yeah, man, plan to get Cyberpunk. I'm I'm hyped. You know, at one point it was going to come out around my birthday in September. I think they had a date that was then, but I think then they pushed it back to November. 
I was really hyped. I, I think it was either two days before or two days after my birthday, and I was going to be super hyped. But now it's in November, which is fine, too. But Yeah, dude, Cyberpunk. I know there's going to be a lot of other games, and, you know, the consoles will be out. But, uh, yeah, Cyberpunk, that's going to be the game. You know, we've gotten some okay games this year. We've gotten some pretty good ones, but Ghost of Tsushima didn't shape up the way I thought it was going to. So, I'm I'm a little let down. I feel kind of empty this year. Last of Us Part 2 was really good. But I, I need a game like Cyberpunk to really quench that thirst we have for the beautiful game. Yeah, I need to look up what Al's weaknesses are, and you know, just kind of maybe what what kind of moves people like to use in the fight. Let me see, Nightjar. I don't think I do. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I'm in the end game, and I never bought the Nightjar slash. Listen, this is this is like the noob. This is the beginning skill tree, I think, from the beginning of the game. Yeah, because you start with this one and this one. You have two skill trees. One one that's just kind of, you know, cool sword moves. And then this one combines your prosthetic arm with the other moves. And I never bought... I never bought this. Oh my god. I never bought the Nitro Slash. And apparently this is, this is a good move. Yeah, maybe Ichimonji is is not the way to go with the big guy. Even though I've I've kind of used double Ichimonji on every single fight. <laughs> Ever since I got this, I was like, this is the best attack in the game. Yeah, maybe I need some new attacks. What if I uh I might spend some time grinding and get the get the full box of tools here. I hardly buy AAA these days. Indie is the way to go. Yeah, I'd say Cyberpunk is... Cyberpunk's kind of a nice exception, you know? CD Projekt Red isn't like most, you know, big AAA titles, you know? They, they do crazy things like, you know, free DLC uh, for their titles. You know, they're talking about adding co-op and multiplayer to Cyberpunk, which personally for me, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, co-op could be fun. I don't know how I feel about multiplayer, but I just don't know how I feel about either. I mean, obviously the single player will be out beforehand, so it's not like they're, it's not like they're going to compromise the single player experience to make co-op. But that's usually the problem with a lot of games when they decide to shoe in multiplayer and co-op. Sometimes if it's a reputable single player game, you know, it's the single player ends up suffering or, or being minimized. Or it gets shortened. You you lose part of the campaign because they say, well, you know, you'll fill it up with uh, fun times with your friends instead. They're pretty cool. I, I still haven't decided. You, you can't ask me questions like that. That's way too difficult. I, I don't have an answer. And every time they talk about it, I get more, I get more, I, I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to wait till I get the game and just pick, click one randomly. It's like, okay, Street Kid sounds cool. Cause you know, you're like a new, new guy in town. You know, you, you know, the streets a little bit, but then that's kind of cheesy, right? That's kind of the Grand Theft Auto one, right? That's how every Grand Theft Auto game starts is like, oh yeah, just got into town gonna hit the streets let's start some trouble so then and, and then there's nomad which sounds really cool because it's like oh you got the mad max lifestyle and then you're gonna come into the city and maybe that'll that'll give you two different sort of perspectives on life because you'll have this kind of country boy life versus you know being a city guy so you know you'll have some 
And each, each, no matter which path you pick, you're gonna have different knowledge that's gonna come in handy in different situations. And then the corpo just sounds crazy, because it's like, it, they're letting you start at the top, more or less. And that's gonna give you a lot of advantages, too. But I think I know a lot of people that are going corpo from the start, so... I was kind of leaning towards one of the other two. So, I don't know, we'll see. It, like, I've watched all their, all their things, and, uh... I'm still, I'm still super confused. I'm still amazingly indecisive. I don't know which one. It's too hard of a question for me. But I hope I'll, I'll figure it out by the time we're at launch. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to scroll through and pick one at random. African, so of course, Nomad. Yeah, dude, there, there's some really cool. And it, it might just be that maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to do multiple playthroughs. And that, that seems to be encouraged because they keep saying you're not gonna experience all the different branches that the game has to offer. Even with Witcher, Witcher was very much the same way. With Witcher 3, you could, you could keep starting it up again and again and so many different choices and branching stories and side quests and just random things in the world that happen that uh, you might not normally discover on the first try. So we, we killed all the guys I, I wanted to kill tonight. Obviously there's a boss up here. They're telling me I need to kill a dragon and sever immortality. But I also need to get two carp scales. Which I don't know when these carps are gonna respawn. I know how that works. And then what's the other thing. We gotta defeat Owl, so we get the the branch off of him that has the flowers. So we need that. Uh, what else? I didn't mean to do that. They're just the bad fish. These are the ones that hurt me. Upset, man. I don't know. Let's go to the temple for a sec. I don't think I even have enough lappies. Um, for this, for this dude here. Let's see. Oh, you two are still talking. Wow. Scuff what? Let me see what the upgrades are. I know I'm out of money now because I just went in there and fought him. So now I'm now I'm screwed on money. Two out of one for the leaping flame. Three. I don't use Mist Raven though. This is the one I want. One that I want. Weak. Addy wax lumps. Delays the explosion. Which is kind of what Owls does. It seems like it's delayed just a little bit. Vitality and posture damage. Corpo looks cool. <laughs> But it somehow has that daddy will buy it for me feel. 
Listen, Stormzy, I'll buy you anything you want, okay? But you do have to call me Daddy Trump, okay? Greatest country in the world. America first. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of has that sort of... I don't know. But you're kind of like corporate... A corporate hitman or something. I don't know, it could get wild. The pressure of that, that high-end lifestyle could be really interesting. It, it kind of made me feel like a secret agent type story was happening. Listen, my dad gave me a small loan of a million dollars, and I bankrupted several casinos, a university, a couple other things. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's horrible. So I have exactly three lapis lazuli. And I need three for this, two for this, two for that. So I have seven. Seven lapis. Um, nope. I need ten. Eight, nine, ten. And I need a bunch of fulminated mercury if I want the sacred flame, which what does this do? Damages apparitions. Yeah, they definitely definitely couldn't have had this earlier when I was fighting nothing but apparitions. The flame does not inflict burn status. Interesting. Well, it better at least do, a, like, a ton of damage for being a sacred flame. Prevents damage on fire-based attacks. Prevents buildup of burn status. Huh. Well, that could be useful as well. And for 1500 I can buy this. Causes anguish in apparition-type enemies. No sound occurs until several seconds after the whistle was blown. I was thinking when I was fighting, remember the ninja earlier that... Kept summoning dogs. I was thinking I probably should have used the finger whistle. <laughs> There's so many. So many of these I, I'd never even bothered with. And I like refuse to use because I want to I wanna be good with my sword, you know. I want to get good with the sword. Another I'll lend you shelter. Ugh, crazy. And that's it, huh? Where we're at. Um, let's see, tomorrow... Might be doing some Mad Max tomorrow. We're gonna, we're gonna flip-flop our, our stream schedule here. Um... Because I wanted to do Mad Max today, but then when I realized my my schedule was going to be uh, pretty heavily split, right? Um, we ended up uh, going with Sekiro because I think that was easier to split into, you know, sort of two smaller streams that we did today. So, I'm thinking Mad Max tomorrow. Let me let me double check here. And we got uh, Control on Thursday. It's gonna be a big one. Uh, what's do I have anything set for tomorrow? Yeah, I don't think so. So I'm gonna be late tomorrow, which means. I'm probably not going to be on until maybe 2 or 3 p.m. 
So it's a couple hours later than I usually go live, but uh be alright. Oh, and I'll get back to you about that drawing app for the iPad. I, I have several um I'll, I'll take a look at my iPad and I'll get back to you. I can't think of any of them by name. But I'll shoot you a message uh, once I look at that. Well, let, me sh let me see what the gamers are up to tonight. Ooh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Nice, dude. Sounds tasty. Yeah, so, I don't know. We're we're getting close here. Uh, Probably need to look up Owl. And see... Uh, what that final fight is. Owl Father, yeah. Dude, he's got so many more attacks. That's crazy. And we haven't even seen phase two. Yeah, so I think that's the plan. We won't be playing Avengers until uh, about a week and three days from today. Week and three days. Yeah, a total of about 10 days, September 4th. That's on a Friday. Uh, that should be exciting. Of course, this Thursday we'll do the control thing. Let me see uh, if there's anyone we can raid tonight. Like I said, I got I got to be up a little early tomorrow. Get a few things done. Stream will be a bit late. But once I get back into town, which I'm hoping that's around two to three p.m. for me. But in the meantime, I will do some research on this owl fight because uh, I think I'm going to have to learn how to how to fight him, and that's going to take a little time. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty wild fight. Like, as we can tell, we we just kind of went in there and did some slashing and, and some blocking and stuff. And There's still a few things I need to figure out how to, how to dodge and counter and get around and, you know, which attacks are punishable, both for him and for me. Yeah, so let me pull this up real quick. Let's see. I want to thank our uh, good friend, uh, Nifty Katie, coming in with the raid. Our, uh, good friend, uh, Nifty. My bad. Pro streamer. All you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Um, definitely check out Nifty Katie. She's a good friend of uh, Video Vomit. Which you guys are probably all familiar with. Don't forget Stormzy here is going to be doing some uh, some of that Mortal Shell tomorrow, I believe. Did I even do Video... Oh, I didn't type Video Vomit correctly. Um, but yeah, definitely check out... Wow, I'm tired. Definitely check out my guy, Video Vomit, there. Doing the Dark Souls 2 run, and then after that, I believe he's going to start up Sekiro himself. Uh, so that'll be really interesting. But yeah, let's get let's get a raid going here. We got our uh, raid messages right here. I'll let you guys know when I'm coming live in the Discord. Uh, we'll be doing some Mad Max tomorrow. Excited for that. Um, 
Let's see here. Yeah, Pixel Puppy is uh, doing some art stuff. So that'll be really fun. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great night, and we will catch you late tomorrow. Have a good night.